I'm going to play a clip of Clifton Powell talking about Bill Cosby, and I'll go to my commentary. Yeah. What is your take on Bill Cosby? Mm. Mm. Period. Heavy, baby. Man, I got to button my jacket up. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, um, I think Bill came up in an era where, you know, some of the things that he did was apropos at the time. Mm -hmm. um, drinking, you know, Spanish fly and all the crazy stuff. I, I, can't, I can't understand Bill being as well off as he was, um, having to, which he admitted to, drugging women. Mm -hmm. um, I love Bill Cosby. I think he's an icon. It is a tough, tough, crazy business. Um, even the young lady he paid $3 million to was, as her, her girlfriend said, she tried to set him up. Mm, wow. um, and some of the ladies have, you know, backgrounds that are not so wonderful. Right. But I don't think that gives him the right to drug anyone. And, and so it's pros and cons on both sides, but he admitted to drugging those he ladies. Did. And he I did. just think that goes document. too far. Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. goes too far. So we just have to pray for Bill and, Absolutely. and just, you know, um, hope he doesn't, you know, pass away in prison. Right. You know? yeah. Right. I mean, he's 80 something years old. It's a shame that he has to be incarcerated. It's, it's just a terrible thing. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. Very sad. All right, folks. You heard, you just heard Clifton Powell talk about Bill Cosby. And here are my thoughts. Clifton Powell is the last person that should be commenting about Bill Cosby. Now, I know that the people on that particular TV show on TV One asked him his opinions about it, and he answered, but he should have refrained from speaking about the issue entirely. Why? Because not too long ago, Clifton Powell was in the same position as Cosby. Granted, it was a little different from Cosby, but it was still the same situation. Rape is rape. I mean, accusations is accusations. Fortunately, um, Clifton Powell was able to prove his innocence and the media didn't go buck wild on him like they did Cosby. But nonetheless, he still paid for it in some form or another by losing some very prominent gigs. So it, it just amazes me that folks like him. And I know um, if you used to go back and rewatch that answer he gave um, those hosts, you would say, well, you know, his answer wasn't all that bad. And why are you getting all upset about it? Well, it, it's just it's just a fact that you know, while he didn't completely throw him under the bus, he still threw him towards the bus. He didn't try to get Cosby away from the bus, but it's still in the position to get hit by the bus nonetheless. So in, in, in closing, um, a person in his position shouldn't, you know, should have gave Bill Cosby the benefit of the doubt. I know he wasn't there. I wasn't there. But still, you was in the same position that Cosby was in. You didn't go to jail. And you should have really thought carefully about throwing Cosby under the bus. And I know it's like, well, if you know something, my career and... I still want to keep doing more appearances on Black Lightning. Okay, cool, fine. But just remember, you was in that very same position that Cosby was in, except, of course, the difference is you went free. So that's just something to think about, Clifton Powell. I'm a fan of your acting. I liked your roles from rock um, Dead Presidents, I didn't get to see um, the subsequent Friday films. But I always think, I, you know, I still like your acting. It doesn't take away from your acting, 
what my thoughts are about you saying what you said about Bill Cosby. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love. It's been... It's been the worst time of my life, Joe. If somebody accused me of raping them or hurting them, I have a 22-year-old daughter. I would never hurt anyone. And it's somebody I knew for a whole year. And I'm just glad that my fans, my family, um, TMZ, my attorneys supported me through this whole ordeal. It's been the most emotional ordeal I've ever been through since my father died in the 80s. I've lost work because of it. You know, my reputation has been basically ruined and I have to go about the business of trying to fix my reputation. So, so you believe this did affect your career? You have a very prominent career in Hollywood, so many great roles that we all grew up watching. I feel like um, some jobs just went away. Some jobs, I, I was working one show, which I can't name. I, was, I thought I was going to be there about seven or eight episodes after the second episode it went away because people are reading on you know certain sites and I can't mention those sites because I may have to deal with those sites legally um, they, they read it like I was arrested accused and already you know a uh, 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 frame I mean not framed but a uh, 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 guilty and basically what it was was a civil case and and sometimes people have to really do their research like you guys did I want to say thank you to TMZ because you guys uh, four years ago called the New Orleans Police Department, were privy to my police report that said, they asked her, were you coerced, intimidated, or forced to commit any sexual act with Mr. Powell? And she replied, no. And TMZ, the only news outlet that got it right and said Clifton Powell falsely accused. So I want to thank you guys for that.